All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to tie the deceiver in the most effective color for big predatory fish at night. And we're getting started right now. We're going to tie it in my favorite color combo, which is purple. And purple is just black and purple. So in the vise today, I have a Tiemco 811S saltwater hook, and it is in a two-on. First thing I'm going to do, add a little bit of bucktail for the tail. And I add the bucktail as a support for my tail. You'll get less fouling, and especially this fly in this color combo, I like to fish at night. If you ever fly fish at night, one of the best attributes of a fly is one that doesn't foul. So the next thing I'm going to grab is just two hackle feathers and I'm going to put them in facing each other with the shiny side out. So I'm just going to strip off the fuzzies, measure my tail, and tie them in one at a time. So I'm just going to rotate my vise and tie the other hackle on the other side. Just make sure that they match up and that when you tie it in, it is flush on the side of the hook and it doesn't rotate to either side. Okay, check that out. I want to rotate it a little bit. I'll just back off a little bit, get this out of my way. Just gotta, if it does rotate on you, you can just kind of unwrap it and then rewrap it. So, Sometimes I find for me, if I started out kind of on top of the hook shank and just use thread tension to pull it down, yeah, and that worked out better. It ends up better and is easier to place where you want it. Let's just get rid of that. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of crystal flash and I'm just going to use black as kind of a flash tail. So I'm just going to tie it right in on top. And I'm going to have it extend slightly past my tail. Uh, all right. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab some more crystal flash and that's what I'm actually going to use to form my body. You can use body braid, which is traditional. Um, I tend to do this in a lot of my flies and the reason is I always have flash kind of hanging around in multiple colors and I think it does make a good body. So I'm just going to double this over, tie it down, bring it back, advance my thread. I'm going to leave it right where I started my uh, thread here because I need to leave room to tie in my head. So I'm just going to wrap this forwards. And I did lose a piece there, that's fine. Grab it. All right, I'm just going to tie that off. Another reason I like to use mono thread is that I can rib stuff and because it's clear you don't see it. So it just helps with the durability of the fly, especially in a salt, wa salt water application where a lot of the fish do have teeth. So the next thing I'm going to tie in is just going to be my underwing or belly here and keeping with this fly light and dark, light on the bottom, dark on the top, I'm going to use purple bucktail. And the way I like to tie these proportionally is so that the bucktail extends about halfway down the tail. It's right about there. And you can see I don't really have that big of a chunk. You wanna keep this fly relatively sparse. It has a better profile if it's sparse. It moves better in the water. And again, it's easier to cast. So I'm gonna measure this wing, trim the butts, and then tie them in right here so that they are directly on the bottom of the hook shank. Cool. Just pull this back and just check what you did. Looks about right. So you have two options here. Um, you can grab a little bit more purple, which I'm going to do, or you can grab your next color, which for me is going to be black. But what I'm going to do is just grab a tiny bit more purple and measure it out. Just trim this up a little bit. Tie it on top here and kind of 
distribute it to the sides of the hook. All right. And then I'm going to tie my top wing on, which is going to be black. This is going to be slightly longer. The reason I like to tie the purple 360 around the hook shank is so that I can tie this black wing longer. I find it fouls less and it gives a fuller profile 360 around the fly instead of more of a flat up and down. So trim this out and then tie that right on top. And I want to keep this on top. Okay. Very cool. So the last thing that I'm going to put for my wing is just going to be some peacock curl. Um, I like to use a standard peacock curl. You can buy peacock curl dyed. Um, I like the way that undyed peacock curl looks. I think it just gives a natural iridescence. And again, I'm going to tie this longer, so I want it to extend almost to the tips of my tail. It's right about there. So I'm going to trim that. Tie that right on top. Clean that up. Create a little head. And then whip finish. So how I finish most of my saltwater patterns is with Zappa Gap or super glue. Just check that out, make sure everything's where I want it to be. It looks good. It's so just going to use super glue to cover up my thread wraps and finish off the fly. At this point, you can add eyes if you'd like. Um, when I fish these at night, I don't add eyes. Um, I think eyes can be a good trigger point, and it's up to you if you want to add them. So in this color, this blurple color, purple on the bottom, black on top. This is kind of my secret or not so secret nighttime color pattern. It works really great. It gives a great contrast, especially when big predatory fish, you know, smallmouth, stripers, musky, pike, big trout, they look up and they get this uh, a great contrast against the black sky. You can find all the materials on our website at tridentflyfishing.com. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of all of our future fly tying videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.